Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Android 7.0 on VirtualBox. First, you will need to download and install Oracle VirtualBox. The link is in my website in the description box below and fully download Android 7.0 ISO. The link is in my website as well. Once you have fully downloaded the Android ISO, go ahead and run Oracle VirtualBox, click on new and name your uh, virtual machine. In this case, Android 7.0, select type Linux version, other Linux 64 bit. Click on next. You can leave it default, but in this case, I'll select uh, two gigabyte. Next, create a virtual hard disk now, VDI, dynamically allocated. Now here, again, you can leave it default and click on create. In this case, I'll allocate 20 gigabyte of hard drive and select a different location other than the default. The default location is written underneath because you're going to need that information in the future. Perfect. And click on create. Now make sure you select the uh, virtual machine you created. Click on settings. System. Processor tab. And here assign two processors. Then go to display. And assign 128 megs to the video memory. Now click on storage and select the controller IDE and delete it. Now click on add, add IDE controller, and then add a hard drive. This hard drive will be the VDI file we created. So click on choose existing disk. And again, navigate to the default location. If you left it default and select the VDI <clears throat> we just created. Now click on add disk choose disk and select the ISO file you download it double click to select and click on OK now if you want you can go back and make sure that all those settings are uh, recorded are set okay perfect now go ahead and click on start Here, you're going to be using your arrow keys and the enter button. So using your arrow keys, go ahead and select install Android x86 to hard disk. Enter. Create modified partition. Remember, always use the enter button. Do you want to use GPT? Nope. Now here, select new, hit enter, primary, enter, and enter again. You'll be using the full um, virtual hard drive space. Now here, hit enter. Once you hit enter, you'll notice that the only change you're going to see is boot under flags. Once you see this, select right and hit enter. Type the word yes and enter. And now uh, select quit and enter. Here, select the partition you just created, SDA1, select OK, enter. EXT4, 
uh, you choose to format SDA1 to EXT4, yes. Do you want to install bootloader grub? Yes. Do you want to install EFI grub2? Skip. Do you want to install system directory as read and write? Yes. Run Android x86. If you encounter any errors, make sure to visit my site for any errors you may encounter. <clears throat> on the installation. Now I'll make sure here by clicking on device that the uh, ISO file is selected. So I go to optical drives and yes, Android 7.0 is selected. And then hit enter. Done. Now, if you want to enable the mouse on the uh, virtual machine, select drives, USB, in my case, and USB PS2, optical mouse. And then you'll be able to use a mouse in the virtual machine. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.